We got to see Matthew Bergeron run with the ones yesterday in a live game, and he was very impressive to me. The second round pick was an absolute star in last night's game. From the first play of the game, this guy put down one of the Bengals defenders, and this is the stuff that we kind of expected out of Bergeron. He showed this nastiness and physicality in college, this willingness to put people down and toss people and finish his blocks. I'm very, very excited for this film breakdown. Let's get right into it. Check this play out. You have a zone run to the right, and Bergeron has a reach block here on DJ Reader, arguably one of the best noses in the NFL. And he's not going to be able to reach, but he does the second best thing, which is he's going to make contact, and he's going to just continue to push this guy up. And he finishes the block. For a rookie to be able to do this is a really, really nice task. Again, it's an outside zone to the right, so he's going to make contact with that nose. Now, one of the things with certain guys, and, and DJ Reader's kind of one of those guys, is Reader's going to mirror any sort of center, especially if he thinks it's a run. And that's one of the great things with this nose. So in this instance, he's going to kind of mirror Drew Dowman, and you're going to see the left guard is going to then get his hands on the nose. And he's basically going to just continue to push him. And that's okay. That's how these zone runs work. If a guy wants to commit one way or the other, you need to get your hands on him seal him off and just continue pushing him one way and in this instance it's exactly what bergeron does robinson sees the cutback lane really really nice vision by the running back and he picks up 12 yards on this play almost popped this for a touchdown really nice stop job by robinson here but a great job by the offensive line generally speaking if you guys look at left tackle jake matthews he's going to do a great job reaching on the four eye technique the tackle this play wouldn't work without this block right here so great great job by that left tackle right there to get in front of that D tackle, cut him off, which ultimately gave the cutback lane right there. So just a really, really nice job. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. So I think the big thing with Bergeron that I really like while he was in college was his mental processing and football awareness. He does a great job with the speed, right? In this instance, he's going to double team, pass off one D tackle, get back over to the left side and help his tackle. You know, oftentimes you get these three on two situations and it is up to either the guard or center whoever it is that's kind of helping double team one guy feel comfortable kind of pushing this guy over to the center and then coming back over here and helping the left tackle and Bergeron makes this look really really easy uh, you see him do a really nice job help both the center and left tackle with two guys and they shut this down this right here is part of what makes certain guys good. And I'm not saying this is anything massive because it's not, right? It's just playing guard in the NFL. But there are guys that struggle with stuff like this, right? And to me, the fact that Bergeron in his very first ever game is able to show us that he can kind of process and do these type of things, especially against the ones. And I, I really want people to understand this concept. It's much different if he was doing this against, you know, the second or third string group. This is the starting defensive front for the Cincinnati Bengals. So that right there is a very, very positive sign. Now, one of the things we do on this channel is look at both negative and positive reps as opposed to just the positive reps. I think if you're not looking at the negative reps, you don't know what a guy needs to improve on, right? You're only looking at one aspect of a guy's tape. So in this instance right here, you're going to see Matthew Bergeron actually lose. He's going up against BJ Hill, who's a very, very, very good defensive tackle. And you're going to see that Bergeron is just going to end up getting pushed and then pulled down. And to me, this is a veteran move here, right? You're going to give a rookie a little bit of a push. And when the rookie starts to kind of lean back into you, you pull him down and you throw him to the side. And in this instance, this is a great, great learning rep for the rookie. Now, obviously, the quarterback gets it out super quickly. It's really just a one-step drop. You can see the quarterback takes the snap. It is kind of low to the right. He's going to take one step. He's going to look to throw the ball. So very, very low chance for any guy to get a sack. But this is a learning rep. Teach tape for the rookie. The offensive line coach, the head coach, the offensive coach are going to look at this snap right here of the rookie and make sure they're going to teach him kind of what to do on these type of things not a big deal it is a losing rep it is preseason this is how you're going to get better let's go ahead and get to the next rep check this play out you're going to get a full start here by the wide receiver uh, right there he's in a full start so the play ends up being stopped before it even starts but we do get the quick block here by the left guard and i just want to point it out really quickly on this play the receiver is going to block down which means the tackle is pulling out in front it's a pitch to the right which also means the left guard here has to cut off the d tackle which allows the center to kind of climb the right tackle will climb as well and we actually see the left guard do a great job here bergeron's going to get this defensive tackle down into the ground now keep in mind 
If you guys look at the D tackle's hands, look at how he goes from having his right hand into the ground to when the motion happens, the linebacker calls some sort of play. He then goes and puts his left hand down. All right, so for him, the change kind of happens in the second one. And, and what I mean by that is that when he goes from having his right hand down into going and putting his left hand down, what it means now is if 65 tries getting out in front of this guy, he's not going to let that happen. He needs to fight through this gap here. So what Bergeron's going to do is he's going to just cut block this guy. Simply cut him off. And this guy actually ends up falling and, and falling into the ground. So to me, that's a nice job. It would have been a winning block in my opinion. Not a big deal. The play doesn't count. But I wanted to just quickly point that out. You got a really nice rep by Bergeron. This is third and 12. So this is a true pass at, a true pass down, which means we're going to get a true pass rush by the defensive lineman. To me, Bergeron's going to do a really, really nice job with the hand placement. Everything on this play just looks perfect. And this actually makes sense because we saw Bergeron play tackle in college and he was really good out in space. And playing guard as a former tackle is actually easier. So as long as you can bring the same technique, which Bergeron clearly has, you can really see the upside here in the pass blocking, All right? You can see him do a really nice job, get both hands to the shoulder pads. He's going to grab on. He's going to tuck the elbows, which is how you want to block when you grab onto the shoulder pads. You don't want to be too wide. You want to try to keep your hands to the inside. And to me, this is perfect, perfect latch and mirror great grip strength. Just a beautiful job. Really keeps the quarterback clean in this instance. Gives up zero ground. That's a top, top tier rep right there. You know, Matthew Bergeron only played in 23 snaps. But after watching some of these snaps, you can tell. This guy's going to be a very, very, very good football player. The guy is smart as hell. And they, it just keeps flashing. And he just knows how to play football. And it's interesting because we all kind of know his backstory. Uh, he didn't get any offers coming out of high school he went to Syracuse obviously and he ended up just locking it down for Syracuse but you can see the processing you can see the little things within his game that he obviously understands take this play as an example it's a screen to the left him and the center are locked in on that D tackle he's going to push off that D tackle and that push is going to allow the center to flip the hips and the center now has this defensive tackle sealed off to the inside. There's no way this guy's going to make the play. And that's because Matthew Bergeron helped him be able to do that. And then he's going to look downfield, right? He's going to keep his eyes downfield, look at the two threats, and really see which guy can make the play first. And then just watch how he seals off the defender, how he's going to position his body. I mean, to me, this is perfect. You want this guy to go underneath you as you seal him off because if he goes underneath you he's not going to make the play to me this is a beautiful beautiful job by him all around the help the process up to the second level picks a guy off turns the body flips the hips i'm very very impressed with this young rookie here's why chris lindstrom is a top two to three guard in the nfl i mean this is this is incredible he makes his look so easy and this play ends up losing a yard but it's not because of him i mean look at this he absolutely flips the hips and he gives that running back the lane to the right over there obviously this is a hard block because you guys can see that the left guard's reach on the nose is not gonna work and that's not anything that the left guard can or can't do it's just a very very difficult block with the nose you're really gonna just mirror this center so the center takes the the, the step this way you're gonna mirror that you're going to get both hands on him. And when you lock in, it's very hard for a guy to get in, out in front and overtake that. Now, that's a different block than what Lindstrom has here, right? He really has a guy playing the three technique, much closer, much simpler to be able to reach to that. But if you guys watch the left guard here, he's going to try to get out in front of that nose. And that's a hard block. But he does try to finish the block here. And it almost seems like he does actually take this guy and almost puts him down and he gets held up by his own teammate here tell me if you guys see what i see here too it seems like bergeron is looking to finish the block right there and it almost looks like the guy may have fallen if he didn't fall or bump right back into his teammate regardless not a big deal some plays work some don't not a big deal let's go ahead and get to the next rep so one of the important concepts with having a great offensive line is you got to have great individual minds and the left guard here is going to kind of flash that on this play 
He's going to get both hands here on the guy that's lined up to the outside shoulder of him in that three technique. And keep in mind, when he makes contact with him initially, he does a great job. The center slide is over to the left. So as the center is going to make contact here, watch the head of Bergeron turn over here and basically look to help the left tackle right there. So he's going to get his right hand on the D tackle, make sure the center fully has him. And then at, even at the end of this, as 58 tries to come back to the inside, Bergeron's going to go at him and he's going to hit him. Now, it doesn't mean a whole lot because the quarterback takes off rolling to the right. But again, it's the mindset that this guy has. And I want you guys to keep that in mind. As an offensive lineman, you got to be smart. And as a unit, you got to work together. And that oftentimes makes a top tier unit. I think, and I, and I truly believe this, based off of watching this offensive line, in the first preseason game as well as now and kind of some of the depth and clips we've got from camp, I think this offensive line is going to be a top 10 offensive line. I think this offensive line has massive upside. I think both the right guard, left guard, left tackle are all very, very, very good. The right tackle is pretty good as well. Obviously, I want to see him continue to get better and continue to kind of show the development, especially in his run game. The center, I think, is the one question mark that I have, but keep in mind, I haven't seen enough from the center yet to kind of analyze his tape and really say if he, I think he's a truly good player. That is one of the things I plan to do today is really get back into some of his tape. Uh, I think Dalman definitely looked good, but I definitely want to see more clips of him. But I still think this offense line has massive, massive upside. Watch the processing here by the left guard. He's going to do a great job, and he's going to end up picking up that defensive end. Uh, he's going to see this super quickly, and he's going to get to that DN. Let him go upfield, which is good enough. The quarterback's able to get the ball out. 12-yard gain just like that. Play does not hit if the left guard does not pick up the slanting defensive end. They bring the linebacker off the edge. The left tackle smartly picks him up. The left guard sees it super quickly as well. Gets his hands the defensive end and really just anchors down I mean, that's a really 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 nice rep if you ask me so there was a play where bergeron was not able to reach on the nose this isn't the nose this guy's playing the two eye and watch him reach on the two eye again much easier when a guy's to your inside shoulder as opposed to playing nose in this instance bergeron is going to flip the hips this is exactly what we look for we look for a guy who understands body positioning a guy who understands where he needs to put his body in order to cut a guy off, and you see it right here, he's able to do that. Very, very nice shot if you guys ask me. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. So a lot of the first string guys are out at this point. Keep in mind, Bergeron played seven more snaps. So really just another drive outside of the first string unit. He's going to do a pretty nice job in pass pro here. Really just anchoring down, taking on the power, getting in front of it, and holding it down. Of course, some of the things that I like to watch right here. Just a really, really nice rep. The interesting thing with this play is he almost fires towards the defensive end so it almost looks like he's jump setting it uh, he's going to go right towards the d tackle kind of change it up a little bit instead of getting vertical or getting in some sort of 45 degree set and waiting for the d tackle to make contact bergeron's going to take the fight right to the d tackle and he's going to get in there bam throw a right punch and to me that's a great way to change it up and in this instance, it allows him to turn that into an anchor. And it's a nice job really readjusting the right hand as well. So as he makes contact with the right hand initially, he's going to get in there and look at him readjust the right hand. He's going to bring it around right there. So the hand is to the inside right now. It's kind of trapped by the left arm of that D tackle. He's going to bring it back, bring it back underneath, put it to the inside chest and drop the anchor. I mean, to me, this guy is well coached and it's very 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 clear he's well coached i'm not sure if he learned all this at at syracuse or if he just got to the falcons and really started to pick these things up but to be able to go from a position where you're going to jump set and punch a guy to then your hands caught to the inside you bring it back around which allows guys to win that's a big concept of offensive line play when you're getting bull rush if you have your hands to the inside the way to stop a bull rush is to bring the right hand around put it to the inside and then anchor drop the anchor and you can see that this guy's already starting to do those little things. As I stated in a play earlier, reaching on a nose who has his hands to a center is very difficult for any guard. But keep in mind, this is now the second string unit. And you'll see the left guard's going to be able to do this. And because he's able to do this to second string guys, the fact that he's able to reach and this play hits for seven yards. This right here legit tells me that as Matthew Bergeron gets more comfortable when he's played two, three, four seasons into the NFL, that there's not going to be many noses that will be able to hold 
burns Ron from reaching them when they're trying to when they're trying to not allow that reach so to me this is a really really nice block kind of shows you that although he wasn't able to successfully do it earlier that as he plays with guys of lesser competition or as he gets better himself which we know factually every rookie gets better first game ever in the nfl is this one so from here it's, it's really just upwards right unless he has no development which is highly highly impossible but it's a nice rep let's go ahead and get into the next one Alrighty guys, here's the final rep of Matthew Bergeron. Nothing, nothing crazy. You obviously see the mental process. You see the head, right, left, right, left. He's really just reading, trying to figure out where his quarterback needs to help. But either way, just to kind of wrap this video up, to me, Bergeron's definitely the real deal. And I have a lot of confidence that this guy's going to be a starting caliber guard in the NFL for a really, really, really long time. To me, the Falcons obviously got themselves a really good football player. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing. We'll definitely be doing a lot of Falcons content this season. We'll check in on Arnold Ebiketti, hopefully sooner rather than later. We'll get into some Zach Harrison content, as well as O-line content as we go through the season. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.